Johnson, competition number one. Really fun trying something new this year, especially with drones, since we're more used to driving uh, on the ground instead of that, instead of in the air. So it's a lot of fun this year trying that. So at the Robotics Education and Competition Foundation, we like to always look at new programs that we can bring um, to pique interest of students that maybe weren't interested in more of our larger mobile robotic programs. So the mission of the REC Foundation is always to inspire and engage as many students as we can in hands-on, STEM-related, and really robotics education. So this Bell VRC event does exactly that. So as students are taking part in this Bell Helicopter Challenge, uh, they're learning all sorts of stuff about, uh, about engineering and, and assembly of the drones. And what the competition does is it encourages them to continue. So our robot has been building drones for nine years. We built them and flown them before, but we were looking for a competition that would challenge the kids. We do first robotics, we do vex robotics, we do square one underwater rovers. We play in you know seven or eight different competitions, and we look for things that will challenge our kids. We really like this drone competition. It's our first year with the Bell Vertical Aviation Program, and I'll tell you, this drone has capabilities that nothing else we've ever done have. It challenges the kid to actually build a drone from the ground up. We really see great problem-solving skills being developed with this particular competition. It was so fun. It was also our first, first experience doing robotics. So I think what's really been unique about this competition compared to any others is the fact that we've got kind of a multimodal aspect to it. So we have ground vehicles, uh, we have aerial vehicles, we have communication between the two, and really trying to put a real, real world scenario around that is what I think is unique about it and really requires a lot of thought on the students' behalf. I actually got my start in engineering uh, myself in high school. Um, I was on the robotics team myself. So to be able to kind of see behind the curtain a little bit on how one of these, one of these uh, competitions is, how it's made, how it's built, and all that goes into the setup beforehand is just very rewarding. And so it's, it's great to give back to that community that gave me my inspiration for engineering in the first place. I would say it's a great way to provide outreach to these students. There's so many kids out there that want to get involved in this kind of these kind of programs. So I didn't know any of these people before we so we got class together and we were all in separate schools. It's just harder to communicate in general. It's a new experience. I never really got to fly a drone like this before and just in a competition and we're doing so well. Yeah. And just the teamwork that's involved, we all know each other, we're all good with each other. It's just it's really fun and it's a great experience. Honestly, uh, connecting with all the teams is very fun and just, it's nice being able to get to know everyone from different schools and backgrounds. Um, I would love to come back next year, however I am a senior, but I will support my teammates on their endeavors. Well, you see we had a drone, it was like this, and then it went like this. <laughs> It is broken. We have several broken propellers, and then this was the outer rim, but it's, it's definitely broken. But the, the important part is we know how to fix it next yeah. time. So. It was really fun. Yeah, we are definitely coming back next year, and I already am, you know, talking to Bell, asking them if they have intern opportunities or internship opportunities for our students. Um, and so, yeah, we'll definitely be back. We had a great time. <laughs>